In Nuke 11.1, we've extended the file localization system to provide more granular control over when and which files are localized, while also introducing more visual cues to showcase the status of localized files for a more intuitive experience. With this update, we've introduced a new mode called Manual, along with a new policy called On Demand. When used with the updated progress bars, UI updates, and new Python hooks, users can now make sure that localization only occurs when and how they want it to. The first feature I want to introduce you to is the new Manual mode. Previously, when your localization mode was set to On, Nuke would check for any updates that could be made and would start localizing automatically. With manual mode, Nuke will still check the network for any updates, but will only start localizing when you prompt it to via a force update. This setting is saved as a preference rather than on a per project basis, so you no longer have to worry about micromanaging your localization preferences. We've also introduced a new on-demand policy so that you can have complete control of localization on a nodal level. With a node's policy set to on-demand, Nuke will only localize that file if you force an update, regardless of what localization mode you are set to. This means you can have Nuke's localization mode set to on, so everything automatically updates, but for any nodes where you've set their localization policy to on-demand, then these nodes will only update on a force update. A great way to target specific nodes set to on-demand is through the new force update option, on-demand only. This specifically only forces an update for nodes with the new policy set. Alongside these new features, you now have a clear indication in the node graph of nodes that have been localized, or in the progress of being localized, or even if a localized file is out of date. These states are shown via our color-coded progress bars. Green shows that your file is localized and up to date, orange shows that a localization is in progress, and finally red shows that a localized file is out of date. Localization mode is now shown at the bottom right on the status bar, so you can always see the state of localization at a glance, as well as if you've paused localization at any point. The Python API has also been extended to allow you to set system modes and localization policies programmatically. You can now dive in and do things like set the localization priority, apply policies based on read node types, or find and remove localized files according to specific criteria. Localization helps get you working faster by giving you direct access to the files you need. And with this update, we focus on giving you all the tools you need to work how you want.